we will solve numerical on the based on radial and KCL today. So find the value of I2 in the given. So in the given network, there is a 4 volt battery, there is a 8 volt battery, there is a V1 given here. Okay, so the resistance value is not given, but the V1 is mentioned. So there is more, there is a uh, current source having the value 10 into V1. There is a 16 volt source and there is I2, which is need to, need to be found out. So to begin with, okay, to begin with what we will do, we will start with So this is a positive terminal of the battery. A negative terminal. This is negative terminal. This is positive terminal. Okay. So we will first apply a KVL for this loop. Okay. And we will go in the clockwise direction. KVL to loop one. Okay, we're going in clockwise direction. So we are moving from this four volt, okay, from positive to negative it is going. So it is decreasing voltage. So I will write four. Then we will come to this eight. Eight is increasing because from negative to positive it is moving. So it is plus eight volt. Then we are coming to this point. It is V1. V1 is going from positive terminal to negative terminal. So it is decreasing voltage. So I will write minus V1. So sum of the voltages is equal to zero in KVL. This is equal to zero. So V1 I can write as from this equation, V1 I can write as plus four root. So even I can write as plus four. Next we'll come to this point. Here, this point we will apply a KCL. Okay. So what is KCL telling you? KCL telling you incoming current is equal to outgoing current. At this point, both the currents are incoming. Okay. So KCL I will apply. KCL to node. We'll call this node to be as node A. Okay, so this one we will call it as node A. So this we will call it as node A. So current, both are incoming. Which currents are incoming? I2 is incoming. Plus 10 into V1 is incoming. So outgoing are zeros. Okay. From this, we can find I2. V1 value is, we have found as 4, which is equal to 0. So I2 is equal to minus 40 amps. Don't forget the units. So this completes the problem. Here we have asked you to find the value of I2. So we have found the value of I2 by using KVL and KCL. So I2 value is minus 40 amps. Then we'll move on to the next sum. Find the voltage Vx in the network show. So in this, you need to find the value of Vx. Okay, so Vx value. So Vx value is here. So this is the Vx. Okay, given in the question. So Vx is positive at this terminal. So this is positive terminal and this is ground negative terminal. And there is a dependent source. 
yeah, voltage control current source, which is given by 1 by 6 into V by. So let us solve this sum. So first we need to find the value of V. Vx they have asked you to find, but there are two variables here. Vy is also there, you know, Vx is also there. So what we will do is first for this node, okay, for this node, what we will do, we will so for this node, what we will do, we will apply KCL. Okay. So KCL, what it is telling you, KCL is giving you incoming current is equal to outgoing current. So the current is incoming here at this point. Current is incoming here at this point. It is 2 amps. Current is incoming here, which is coming. It is 1 by 6 V by. And by default, we will assume this current to be outgoing. Okay, this current to be outgoing. So at this point, I will call this as to be node A. KCL at node A, incoming current is 2 amps. Incoming current is 1 by 6 Vy, which is equal to outgoing current. Outgoing current, see this, they have given this plus minus Vx, okay? So this whole voltage is Vx. This whole voltage is Vx. So here the current will in this branch. Mein. Okay, so this is voltage divided by the total resistance. Total resistance is 6 plus 3. So it is Vx divided by 9. Okay, so let us call this as equation number from this circuit, okay, from the circuit which is shown here, so there is a Vy, okay, so Vy is across the 3 ohm resistor. So Vy is what? It is 3 into the current which is flowing to the, from the branch which is having 6 and 3 ohms. So in this branch, the current which is flowing is equal to Vx divided by 9. Okay. So in this branch, there is a flow of current which is equal to total voltage divided by the total resistance will give me the value of current. So this is Vx divided by 3. So what is the value of Vy? Vy is Vx divided by now put this value of Vy in the equation number 1. So equation number 1, okay, putting the value of Vy in equation number 1, I get 2 plus 1 by 6. Vy is given as Vx divided by 3. Okay, so this is equal to Vx divided by 9. So just simplify this divided by 18, Vx by 9, okay, so 2 is equal to Vx by 9, minus Vx by 18. So Vx minus Vx, which is equal to Vx by 18, so we get Vx value to be 36 volt. So this completes the okay.